Hello, everybody. My name is Jorge Ho, and I come in from the U University of Salamanca. And the experience I to show you are today is the virtual heritage territories, augmented reality, and pedestrian navigation through educational uh, implementation. Uh, in the first part, I try to show you. Uh, and uh, brief uh, context theoretical. Uh, uh, in this part, we, we, we will find four important uh, issues. In first part, uh, uh, this investigation is the, is the framework uh, in a context uh, about of M learning and uh, mobile learning and e learning. Uh, particularly with the mobile devices is uh, uh, very uh, make possible uh, new forms of the learning uh, about a traditional situations uh, in the second part we uh, the mobile system in this moment uh, can create models and digital representations of the territories and his features creating graphic user interfaces adequate to situated learning uh, in a spatial context with particular meanings and fact situations. And, and a, a, thir a third dimension is very important because techniques like augmented reality or the mobile pedestrian navigation or us knowing like a, a, a spatial or navigation by satellite uh, have developed in the last by 25 years, but in the only five years, uh, have a strong uh, complemented by exponential increase of the hardware capabilities, particularly the mobile devices, and, uh, and the, the access of the data and the internet uh, connections. Finally, this research aims to build a mobile system related with uh, mobile pedestrian navigation on augmented reality, a friend with a process of educational training, including a technology, in this context, e-learning and mobile learning, uh, in a framework of territorial information corresponding a historic cultural heritage of the city of the Salamanca and Santiago de Chile. And then, uh, we realized two big dimensions for this uh, research. Uh, one part of the dimension is a technological di uh, object ice, and the other part is the educational dimension. In the technological context, we try to aim to analyze the mind tools used in the development of situated learning, particularly in augmented reality and the navigation uh, pedestrian, in order to have a diagnostic of existing softwares and uh, applications. And a second part, we try to develop an augmented reality and mobile pedestrian navigation application through the frameworks of location, navigation, and augmented reality in a context of iOS system, uh, allowing the presentation of content on heritage and territory, the context on situated learning. This is a mobile learning. We, the next phase is a situated learning, uh, particularly in a mobile learning or mobile technology, allowing the deployment, the content on heritage and territory of the city of Salamanca and Santiago de Chile. In the second dimension, in the, the part of the educational situation, we aim to determine the influence and effectiveness, educational effectiveness of the is augmented reality uh, mobile pedestrian navigation application that we created in, in the context of situated learning, uh, particularly in a concrete example in this city, Santiago de Chile and Salamanca in Spain. And finally, we aim to identify and understand the experience gained by users with augmented reality and mobile pedestrian navigation in in our uh, application where we identify the relevant issues and relevant key factors. How they are learned, how they understand information, how they 
visual, visualize the, the data. In the theoretical context, we, try, uh, we have uh, three important elements. Augmented reality, augmented reality is the, it's a part of the virtual reality, it's a under stage of the virtual reality, it's a complement of the natural reality that we can see. And in this case, we, we work uh, with the mobile augmented reality. The, sec the second element is that a mobile pedestrian navigation system is the same as the natural uh, satellite navigation in, in, in you can find in, in si systems like uh, a GPS and GLONASS uh, context. But in this case, you can s you can you you could do it in made uh, in, in context with the with the pedestrians with the mobile phone. Mo uh, mobile phones, tablets, and other uh, other uh, apparatus. And the last uh, context theoretical is the situated learning. Another stage of the um, you know, process more important, like a mobile learning, uh, and it's related with the the context and how to try to put the investigation in in the theoretical framework. And how we work this investigation? Well, in the first ten, in, in the first stage, we developed and implemented the software. We create the software, the application, and an iOS uh, dispositive. We we use the uh, iOS uh, iPad because the we we found this very more easy to uh, the students. Uh, understand and afford the, all the context of a heritage. And you can find uh, uh, some elements like uh, how the reality, uh, augmented reality to work, how the data, the multimedia information is uh, deploying, how the uh, points of interest or maps are uh, showed in a learning context. And this is uh, the first stage. In parallel, we recall uh, we recall information about the city the salamanca and santiago de chile we try to reunite a uh, harvest uh, a lot of information of uh, elements of archaeological cultural um, political elementos issues very important for uh, educational conditions and we found in salamanca uh, approximately uh, 72 points of interest and we try to put in every point uh, important uh, elements of multimedia content. In Santiago de Chile we found uh, 62 points of interest uh, in uh, interest of heritage uh, education and the same way we try to put uh, uh, several uh, elements of multimedia uh, resources for the application with, uh, we have a uh, development. In the third stage, we implement the evaluation instrument. We need to how the student understand the application, how if the student, if they learn with the augmented reality, with the virtual maps, and the application and the mobile context. And in a third part, we development uh, uh, a test with 25 items, and we uh, put two groups, group A and group B. And in both cases, we uh, apply a pretest with the 25 uh, items. And after that, we uh, apply the instrument. Uh, classical in the group A, in the classical uh, teaching, with the classroom, a uh, professor or teacher explain the context and issues. And the group B, we apply the application with the mobiles, tablets, iPads, and a uh, territorial context. After that, we uh, apply again a post test with the same instrument but with the uh, 25 items and 
this is methodology of the instrument we apply in Spain for first and second of the ISO and Chile, adding up 70 of the elementary education. Parallel of that, the instrument in the iPad, uh, we, we program certain uh, classes with a register of the data of the mobilization and the use of the application. You can see in, in, this, in this part, we are trying to create a file log with the use of the application and what is the content the student see it, understand, and visualize. And then, in, in this moment we are found in this stage, uh, we, we, stay, we are analyzed the data. You can see an um, initial spatial model of how the students they move in the city of Salamanca. Uh, distance, uh, um, import, uh, important point of interest, they visited how, 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 come, how, how can understand the the, all the, res the multimedia resources uh, show us. And well, what is under the conclusion and expected results? First, we will, we will develop a customizable software under the modular structure and the areas of mobility, navigation, and virtual interaction, always with augmented reality and mobile pedestrian navigation. Second, uh, this uh, this is a, a hypothesis. We need to uh, analyze data. Uh, this will result in benefits in the development or uh, improvements and optimization according to the progress of requirements as tool for informal learning environment, digital mapping, spatial location, and the territorial, territorial heritage information. Uh, we aim to obtain a tool with a gradient effectiveness in the field of heritage education compared to similar methodologies and usual tools. Usual tools like a maps, like a traditional teaching, like a um, expositive class, ETC. Uh, this research has a strong emphasis in technological aspects and pedagog pedagogical elements, allowing a continuous improvement uh, of each element involved in the application with development. Uh, finally, the personalization of content and process in areas such as territorial heritage, virtualizations, allows an improvement in the learning process and incorporation of cultural identity locally. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and